And that's the end of one minute of silence. We will move on to contestant number three. Contestant number three, Toastmaster of number one. Can you see timer one? Yes. yes. I love it. Okay. Contestant number three, Toastmaster of one. Are you ready? Yes. Great to hear that. Contestant number three, Toastmaster of one. What is something you want but have never asked for? What is something you want but have never asked for? Toastmaster of one. Fellow Toastmaster, have you ever created something that you are so proud of and you want to share it to everyone? Raise your hands. Yes. Thank you, lovely. And me too. Back to the secondary schools, I was a dreamy boy with the hobbies of decorating my rooms. I put on the wall the lights, the decorations, everything. And one day, I have a big project. I will redecorate my room. So that's why. I started to do it. I cut, I sticks, I tried to do everything for five hours straight. And finally, I transformed my room into a cozy, warm, glamorous kingdom of mine where I can live in. And I was so satisfied that I just falling asleep until I wake up. The moment I woke up, my heart just sinking down. My dad in my room, we was removing all the decorations on the wall, saying that those are just ridiculous. And his words slicing through my heart, secondary boy. I was so angry that I shouted at him, I hate you, and I just leave my home. But when I cooled down, I realized that Maybe my dad was right. He removed the decorations because he wanted me to be safe. Because those decorations are not safe at all. So that's when I went back home and said, Dad, I'm sorry. And I gave him a, a tight hug, a show the appreciation. And the magical thing is, my dad was strict and stern, asked me, do you want to redecorate your room? I will do it with you. So fellow Toastmaster, cottage and judges, Sometimes things that we never ask for will come to us if we appreciate them. My dad, who is stern and strict, offered me to redecorate the room with me because although I, I, I didn't ask for it because he know that I would cherish and grateful for that. So, yeah, back to you, Contashe. Yeah? <laughs>